let's talk the cable costal pec press so it's important to distinguish that this movement for your costal pec fiber is a press not a fly the fibers think of them as running up and down which is why we would rather go back and forward is the simplicity that i say so a cable trainer like this works really well because of that whereas if we were to do a sternal pack fly if we'd want a more wider like a jungle gym or a functional trainer but this will work perfect and on the functional trainer you can bring in the arms closer so i really like this movement obviously for hitting the costal pec fibers but a lot of people tend to neglect the costal pec fibers in the shortened position mainly because of doing certain flies or you'll see things like this which will get a good squeeze but as for actually lengthening that costal pec fiber you're going to want to come from more of a high point so the simplicity of this is just forward and back so setup will be you know a little bit higher than head height pulleys you're gonna get into this now let's say you're doing a moderate amount of weight and you don't need a lot of stability or not a lot of stability is required you can have a good upright torso slight hinge at the hips and as mentioned you are going to drive back and forward make sure that you are not holding your shoulder blades down and back let them move they want to protract and retract as you're going through this movement okay also try not to go back too far out of your range where you want to go is where you have your active range which is when i'm driving back it stops here active range is when you can physically bring yourself to whereas passive is where weight can bring you so go to your active range which is right here out slight hinge forward back forward back i like to stagger my feet just to create more stability rather than standing like this now if you get into really heavy loads come forward and then really hinge at the hips so that way you can stabilize yourself better to manage these heavy loads now the positioning of where you will be stepped out and your arms once again me being very nuanced but i like to keep my arms lined up with the cable so if you're seeing from the side they're lined up so i try not to be like this i try to be here in this position and then if i have to lean forward more i'll walk out more to keep them lined up with my arms and you are driving the elbows together not the hands because you can't fully short that costal pec if you're driving the hands together it needs to be elbows together how i explain it is you're trying to get a free drink at the bar okay this is a great movement for helping with shoulder pain actually because once again a lot of people neglect this and synergistically your lower traps work to stabilize the scapula so if you find yourself like this you can work or if you find yourself like this and you have trouble activating your lower traps you can work the costal pec fiber create some functionality in there and then you should be able to better activate your lower traps and then this will help with shoulder function integrity stability and health it's a great movement for that so if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button and follow me on instagram at that.coach.curtis Thank you.